The Oscars came along in 1972, and uh, I was asked, it was on NBC. Uh, I had made my mark on a few shows, and I had, uh, and NBC, they were going to make a change. Uh, Bob Finkel did that first year with Howard Koch. And uh, NBC said, would you be interested? And they all said, would you be interested? <laughs> That's a silly question. Of course. Talk to Sandy. <laughs> and so um, I went over and I had some meetings. And again, it, 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 be, meetings before uh, you know, NBC said that. I jumped. And I took meetings. And I said, I, I, and they said, what would you like to do? I said, I'd like to do some different things. I want to do crazy things. They said, well, we want to put some life into the Oscars. That came from Bob Finkel and from Howard Koch. I said, well, now you're talking my cup of tea. And they said, let's do something. We, we, we have, it's just, uh, it's been talking heads. We don't really have big stuff, but we have a problem we have to solve. We, have, we need the international market, but we only have six awards that mean anything to the international market because we have to get an hour and a half show out there or we, we lose this kind of revenue that we need. And so the six, I said, well, what are the six? Well, best picture, and best actor, actress, supporting actress, supporting actress, and director. I says, and, and they said, all the others mean a lot to the United States, but not to around the world. They, they like Hollywood and the big stuff. So then well, we better do some production then. And they said, yes, let's go for that. I said, and tear me loose, tear me loose, we're going to do that. And I said, when it comes to the awards, they had most of the nominees there. I said, I'd like to do five live shots. That was the first time that was ever done. So I got engineers at NBC to build a special box that would give me five squares that we'd have to put the live shots in. Those cameramen had to frame the people not on a full frame, and to have it reduced like it can do today, they had to find that little box and try to find that person's head and put it in that little box. And they have, depending upon where their boxes were, I gave them a roadmap on papers. That person had to go in box three, this camera had to put it in box five, and so forth, and they had to hit those. And that's how we did it. And, and we had that box. And then it worked. It was big talk, it was very, because you could see the emotion of the person of the winner and the loser. Nobody's a loser. The nominee that didn't, the four nominees that didn't get it, it was wrong, wrong word on my part. I stand corrected. So, but there's a delicate point. Your point is, is that once the winner isn't known, you'll see the reaction of the other four, but then you have about a split second decision, 1,001, 1,002, and you're off onto the other people. You don't want to stay on the person that didn't get it. But then you got it. But you don't want to not have see that moment in time, and then get to the other person. That was all started in my first year of the Oscars, and it's been carried on to this day.